our another junior preacher, our preacher to be, John Glenn Felix. Um, good morning, po sa inyo lahat. Um, good morning, po. Uh, as we start, let's open our Bibles. Let's all stand. Let's all stand, please. Let's open our Bibles in 1 John chapter 4, verse 8. Ang sabi ng Bible, He that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. So nalangin tayo. Panginoon, salamat po Lord. Sa Have a night to Lord. Salamat po sa opportunity na binigay niyo po sa akin. Lord, bigyan niyo po kami ng knowledge ngayon. Have a night to Lord. Salamat po. Sa Pahana Jesus. Amen. Maawin na po kayo mo po. The title of my message is God is Love. Ano po bang meron yung salitang yun? Ano po bang ibig sabihin ng God is Love? My subject is the greatest sentence that was ever written. Of course, the sentence is in the Bible. Ano po ba yun? Yung God is love sentence it has three monosyllables. One has four letters, one has two, and the one has only three. Those three monosyllables contain so much truth. Niniwala po ba tayo nakatotohanan yun? God is love. Now, what does the Bible tell us how God shows His love. Point number one. God shows His love by pardoning sin. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and unrighteous man in his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. Sinasabi ng Panginoon sa atin plainly na He will forgive Every sinner, no matter how deep he has gone, if he will only turn from sin and turn to him, he will forgive him. Sabi po, yung sinners, <laughs> any sinner that lives, kaya niya patawarin, kahit gano'n pa kabigat yung kasayanan niya. If he only repent, salvation. Ano po ba yung dalawang component na salvation? One is acceptance, second is repentance. Kung tayo mga Kristiyano, wala tayo repentance, will God forgive us? No. Kasi, if we hold on to our sin and retain our moral character, He will not forgive us. Point number two, God shows His love by taking account of sin and punishing it. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Madaming tao ngayon, iniisip nila yung kasalanan inaalaw lang ng Panginoon. Unrebuke, uncheck, and punish. God is love, therefore he takes account of and punishes sin. Amen po ba? Amen. Ngayon, example po. Madami pong tatay ngayon. Selfish. Hindi nila pinaparusahan yung anak nila. They sacrifice the welfare of their children in order in order to spare their own feelings. That is not love. It's consummate selfishness. Kasakiman po yun. Kasakiman. God is love. Number three. God shows His love for us by sympathizing with us. Isaiah, let's all, let's all open our Bibles in Isaiah 63 verse 9. Sabi po, In all their affliction, he was afflicted. Ano po? In all their affliction, he was afflicted. He is sympathizing with us. Malungkot po tayo, masaya, he was with us. Wag malungkot tayo, malungkot din siya. Masaya tayo, masaya din siya. He is with us. Every day, katabi natin siya. Sympathizes. 
He is with us. Point number four. God shows His love by gifts. Isang gift na napakalaga sa atin. Yung gift na eternal life. Sabi po, Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called sons of God. Oh, what wondrous gift that God bestowed upon us. You and me, that men and women like us should be called children of God. Amen? Nalangin po tayo. Salamat po Lord sa awin na bigyan niya po sa amin. Lord, kayo po magpala po Lord sa inyong salita. Salamat po sa pangalan Jesus. Amen. Yeah!